Uh, I've just been taken into like the red light district of uh, Osaka. It's quite amazing what I'm seeing right now. Built in the early 1900s to cater for Osaka's growing population of labourers, in 1958 when Japan made prostitution illegal, the Tabita Shinji brothels, using their wily Osaka merchant's mindset of always finding a way, simply registered as restaurants. Today, unlike in Tokyo's modern sex district, where love motels advertise women that look nothing like the photos, Osaka's historic sex district features open storefronts that allow customers to view Tabita Shinji's famously attractive working girls. When the storefront is empty, the girls are indeed working, as given away by the man's shoes. And with each customer officially purchasing £120 worth of snacks, it's probably one of the most expensive restaurants in the world. But I hear they provide great customer service. We had a good walk past the, uh, the area again, and it is mind-blowing how beautiful uh, those women are. I've been to the Red Light District, and they're all right. William, aren't, how good looking are those women? Was it like 9 out of 10 or something? 9 out of 10? They're like 11 out of 10, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they're like wearing like... Like, like, like fantasy costumes. Yeah, fantasy costumes is what they're doing. Like, also, know. the old granny, Andre over here thinks that it's actually the mum of the, yeah. of the, of the, of the girl. My yeah, point is, is that the, the, the girl who is actually doing the business is supposed not to speak too much because she want to be like you know um, like a precious thing uh, so no, she I, let I, somebody I, else I, do I the yelling you're, you're stuff. totally wrong yeah it was pretty amazing pretty amazing i have to say <laughs> yeah man <laughs>